Hey everyone, Alex from Android Central here. Today we're going to take a look at a lesser known feature on the Samsung Galaxy S3. This is called USB Host. And what it lets you do is plug any normal USB peripheral into the phone. So, what you need is one of these USB on the go cables, and that lets you plug a micro USB into uh, the phone and the other end into any peripheral of your choosing. So, clip it in there, we'll see we've got a normal USB uh, connector there that we can use. Um, so, the first thing I'm going to show is uh, mass storage. So you can plug USB memory keys into this thing. The one we've got here is just a standard SD card which is going to go into this adapter. So we plug one into the other and then into the adapter and then this little contraption will fit into the phone. So we unlock it and uh, connect this down the bottom here. So you've got the message that says USB connector connected. USB mass storage connected and it's already opened up the file manager for us. So it's connected here is USB drive A. So we can click on there and we've got all the usual stuff that comes up uh, from our SD card on here, a bunch of photos from the review it looks like. Uh, so it's a little bit cumbersome to have this sort of <laughs> hanging off your phone like this but it's uh, it does work very well. Um, the one thing you need to remember to do when you're dealing with files is select this option at the top to remove it safely when you're done. So next up we're going to try something a bit more adventurous. We've got a 500 gig USB hard drive here that we can plug into our USB on the go connector and as normal plug this end into the phone. So we get the usual message, USB connector connected. We should get another one once the hard drive has started to spin up. There we go, USB mass storage connected. And once again it's brought us directly into file manager so let's see what we can find on here. And it's reading the drive just fine. So we've got our AC introduction video here. And you can see it plays just fine. So uh, exit out of that. Uh, it's worth mentioning though that you will need to format your hard drive in a certain way for it to work with this uh, with this phone and other phones. So you need to have uh, either a FAT32 drive or an XFAT drive. NTFS doesn't seem to work in here. But of course USB is about more than just storage devices. So we've got a full size desktop keyboard and mouse here which you've got plugged into a USB hub which in turn is plugged into the USB on the go connector. Uh, so if this goes according to plan we should be able to use a mouse and keyboard on the Galaxy S3 which is going to be pretty cool. So we've got the usual message there, the message there that says USB connector connected, mouse connected and all that stuff. So um, bring the phone to shot here we can see that keyboard works just fine scrolling from side to side. If we use the mouse you get this little pointer which you can use to select stuff. Uh, we can go to the app drawer and use the back button on the mouse to go back if we want to as well. Uh, we can also do full uh, keyboard typing. Uh, let's go into the Gmail app and show that off. So, uh, of course, get the virtual keyboard on the screen as well, but we can also uh, do usual keyboard typing on there, and that works just fine. Uh, so, really cool addition. Um, not sure if it's something you're going to be using every day, but it is pretty cool to be able to plug all these different kinds of USB connectors into the Galaxy S3. So there you go, quick uh, hands-on demo of USB host on the Samsung Galaxy S3.